Over the years, Singapore Polytechnic has honoured many outstanding graduates who have not only excelled academically, but also effected positive social impact. This year, we celebrate the achievements of the following eight graduates. During his early school days, Liu Zhengjie frequently played truant. Things changed in upper secondary when he was made class representative. The responsibility motivated this Unity Secondary School alumnus to study harder. He excelled and pursued a diploma in chemical engineering in SP as part of the Pioneer Batch of Polytechnic Foundation program. This SP model student and engineering scholar's final year project leveraged on bioabsorption to develop a solution to treat polluted waterways. Zheng Jie had led a team to Indonesia to build classrooms and conduct English workshops. He also recruited and trained volunteers for a reading program for underprivileged children. His effort earned him the Alfred Robert Edis Prize for Community Service. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner hopes to study chemical engineering at the National University of Singapore. He aspires to become a researcher, developing new sources of clean energy. At the age of four, Benedict Lee Wei Zheng was already taking apart electrical plugs and rewiring them under the guidance of his engineer father. At Assumption English School, he successfully built his own computer from scavenged parts. So after his O-levels, taking a diploma in computer engineering in SP was a natural choice. A recipient of the Defence Science Organisation Diploma Scholarship, Benedict completed his internship at their national laboratories. His research there intensified his interest in computer network systems and cybersecurity. This SP model student also spearheaded initiatives to improve the living conditions of the elderly. He also used his engineering and programming skills to repair discarded laptops for less fortunate students. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner will pursue a degree in computer engineering at the Nanyang Technological University with the hopes of one day playing a major role in Singapore's cyber defences. Don Loi Shi has always been interested in biology, so after receiving his O-level results, this Clementi Town Secondary School alumnus decided on SP's Diploma in Biotechnology course. As part of his course curriculum, Don genetically engineered E. coli to detect and degrade phenol, one of the most prominent water pollutants. Beyond the classroom, Don and his classmates initiated a community service project for primary school children to inculcate in them the importance of reading. Just a month before his internship at A-Star, Don's mother passed away. He was devastated but picked himself up and focused on his work to do his late mum proud. During his seven-month internship at A-Star, his outstanding performance earned him the prestigious A-Star MBBS PhD National Science Scholarship. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner aims to further his studies at NUS's Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine and hopes to become a clinician scientist. He has always been fascinated with computers and video games. So when Azim Arshad Vasanwala completed his O-levels, SP's Diploma in Information Technology was an immediate choice. At SP, this former School of Science and Technology student further immersed himself in virtual reality, participating in various hackathons and competitions like the Microsoft Imagine Cup, where he led his team to develop Nix, an artificial intelligence service that could help event organizers save manpower. The project not only won Azim and his team the championship title in the innovation category, but sparked a dream for them to turn Nix into a startup. This integrated Infocom scholarship recipient did his 17 week internship with Accenture, where he created prototypes that could be seen in future smart businesses. This To Chin Chai gold medalist hopes to further his studies in computer science at either NUS or NTU. Enrolling in Singapore Polytechnic's Diploma in Media and Communication course was never part of Chong Han Lin's plan. This Zhonghua Secondary School alumna initially pursued a Diploma in Life Sciences before discovering her passion for communications. This SP scholar's outstanding contributions include Chance, a short film she directed for the Tomasic 2020 short film project and a social media campaign for the Migrant Workers Centre. 
Apart from her studies, Han Lin is a three-time recipient of SP's Excellence Award Sports for Squash. Her desire to serve the nation also saw her signing on as a member of the Pioneer Batch for the Singapore Armed Forces Voluntary Corps. During her internship at Starcom, Han Lin so impressed the company that they offered her a full-time media executive position. So this Lo Guan On gold medalist is deferring further studies to build her personal brand in the industry. Mohammad Najula was born with brittle bone disease and moves about in a wheelchair. From an early age, this Queensway Secondary School alumnus realized the power of IT and its benefits to the community. And so he chose to pursue a diploma in business information technology and enrolled as part of the inaugural batch of SP's Polytechnic Foundation program. This Microsoft U-Spark scholar and his team developed an application called Happy Wheel that helps special needs individuals find wheelchair-friendly traveling paths. Their application won them numerous awards. Najula also interned at A-STAR's Institute of High Performance Computing, where he researched barrier-free access and how it affects those with special needs. This Chua Chua Tech gold medalist will be pursuing a degree in Information Systems at the Singapore Management University. He aspires to be a software developer to improve the quality of life for the community. Since her Jurong Secondary School days, Esther has been passionate about writing and creating stories. So SP's Diploma in Creative Writing for TV and New Media was the perfect fit. At SP, this budding writer explored the topic of an ageing population in Singapore in a documentary titled Heartway. It received rave reviews and was nominated for the Best Documentary, Best Editing and Best Camera Work categories at the National Youth Film Awards. Esther also took on the role of first assistant director in SP's very own web series, The Leon Theory, as part of her internship with Big Three Media. Esther's passion and work ethics so impressed the company that they offered her a full-time position. And so this Tan Kei Yong gold medalist will embark on a stint in the media industry, pursuing her passion before embarking on further studies. Muhammad Alfis bin Kambali admits that education was not a priority during his teenage years. Even after his O-levels, this Badok South Secondary School alumnus spent several years working and completing his national service as a firefighter. It was only when he entered ITE that he realised he wanted more out of life. And so he put his best foot forward, persevered and graduated with a perfect score. And so it was that at 25, Alphys enrolled into SP's Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management. Beyond the classroom, he applied his event and management skills to real-life situations by taking part in various committees and competitions. Today, Alphys acknowledges that management and awareness of one's goals is key to success in life. This Taeyang Soon gold medalist hopes to one day become a lecturer to help make that difference to the lives of others. SP is proud to celebrate the success of our institutional award winners. These graduates have embraced our vision to prepare our students to be life-ready, work-ready and world-ready.